Mogul Motivation, educating and empowering entrepreneurs one week at a time. Presented by True Stories Media. And I am your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mogul Motivation. Welcome back. I'm happy that you are here. If this is your first time listening, this podcast is for the aspiring entrepreneur who is trying to get over that hump and make things happen. This podcast is for anybody with a dream that wants to aspire higher and accomplish that dream. I don't ask for any money. This podcast is free to listen to, free to download. All I ask is two things. If you find anything in this podcast that's beneficial, you pass it on to somebody else in your network that may benefit from it as well well and leave a review when you get a chance please leave a review and let me know what you think about the content of this podcast from the beginning of our lives at least for most of us um for as far as we can remember we are told that success is going to school getting good grades graduating finding a great job with greater benefits retire and move somewhere sunny to enjoy the beach that's what we are told by family, by friends, by mentors, by teachers, mostly everybody around us. If, and if you're a black and grew up in poverty or a working class home, you may not only hear all of this, but you may also hear that only white people can become CEOs, millionaires, billionaires. You can't be successful unless you're into the music industry or play some type of sport. You can't be focusing on this little hobby of yours. You need to just go get you a good job. So you might hear all of that in addition to the previous things that I mentioned. You see, we are brainwashed from early on that risk are dangerous, that risks are bad, risk will not secure your life, safety nets, structure, things that we can see is what will secure our life and make us successful. But the power of the unknown is far greater than the power of the known. Getting a good job with benefits and working there may have been enough back in the day, but it's not enough now. And even if you love your job, you must find another source of income for yourself, multiple sources if possible, because jobs are risky and unstable. We don't need a job anymore. As a job is tenuous, it is fleeting. Get a good job for a safety net, they said. You're at the complete mercy of your employer. They can hire you and fire you whenever they feel like it. Get a good job with stability, they said. You get paid a set hourly wage or salary, which has a ceiling to it. Get a good job with structure, they said. You're living in a constant state of fear. Regardless of what level you work on because your time is built around another company and is focused on making strangers rich. Strangers that can take your livelihood away at any moment if they feel like it. How is this better than running your own business? When you're in complete control, when you decide what to do, when you decide you can make as much money as you desire once you figure out the process, you can control your life, you can control your livelihood. We have been brainwashed into believing that we are stuck with what we have, that we must punch a clock, we must follow a manual and sit down, shut up and be told what to do. That brainwashing continues today. So many of us are brainwashed. I was brainwashed for a brief moment in time when I was rejected from Columbia College, Chicago. That's why we must conduct a brainwash on ourselves. We have to start scrubbing away all of the decay out of our psyche by first and foremost making the decision that we want to change our lives. And then once we make that decision, we have to truly believe that we can change our lives. You must start by taking action, by feeding your mind positive information. This ranges from books, documentaries, blogs, anything that revolves around entrepreneurship. You have to consume it. Seek out events, workshops, find a potential mentor or two and pick their brain. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you must interact and hang out with other entrepreneurs. I didn't know anything about an S Corp or an LLC, but the entire summer of 2011, I was stalking and shadowing my mentors who are successful entrepreneurs themselves. And I learned as much as I possibly could. And by December of that year, I had my business incorporated. You have to believe, you have to decide to change, and you have to take action. From that point, you will constantly be learning and growing as an entrepreneur. Wash your brain and flush out all of the false information that you have been fed. And this is not an overnight process, ladies and gentlemen. This will actually take years and years because it took years to ingest the false information that we believe. But... Just how you need to take a shower every day 
to clean your body, to brush your teeth. You have to do that every day. You have to take care of your hygiene. You have to wash your brain every day as well. Multiple times a day if you have to. Every day on my Snapchat, I post a message that says, we will win. Because I have to remind myself and my followers every day that we will win this day. What we believe will come true as long as we remain focused on it every single day and take action every single day. If you repeat this habit daily, then ultimately you will win in life. Having a job is not enough, ladies and gentlemen. Good benefits is not enough. Even if you love your job, love your career, and love the company you work for, that is totally fine. I'm not telling you to quit your job, but it's not enough. You have to find other avenues to create income for yourself, for your future, and for your family. Because tomorrow, that job you love so much might not be there. You can get laid off, you can get fired, or the company can close. Then what? On the flip side, when your business continues to grow, guess what? Now people are working for you. Now you have employees, but it's your job to treat them as humans and not as expendable pawns. You have to make yourself known amongst your employees. Create a fair and safe company culture. Pay them well. Don't be greedy. Pay them what they're worth. Provide good benefits and don't take away those benefits. Be a teammate. Don't just be a boss. And encourage them to pursue their passions as well. All of this is a result of the brainwash. And the brainwash is necessary. Once you master this habit, then you will unlock mogulism. And that's what I will discuss next week. But until then, let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality. And wash your brain and discard all of the false information you have been fed your entire life. And start to feed it true information. Information that will make you successful. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. I'll talk to you next week.